A lot of you are really very concerned about the future of coding and I get hundreds of emails asking the same thing that these big tech companies are laying off their employee. Whether you talk about Google, Amazon, Netflix and big tech giant, they're laying off their employee. Recently, Google fired their entire Python team in the US. So is it still relevant to learn coding in 2024 where the companies are focusing more towards the AI for performing the work? So I'm going to give my personal point of view that how I look at this AI models and what kind of work it can do because I have been in the industry for the last five years and I can see the changes are happening both in the field of development and in other work. So obviously AI is creating a huge impact in the industry in every single field. It's not limited to the development but it's also impacting the other industry like call centers, repetitive work which you will find in most of the industry whether you talk about the manufacturing industry, whether you talk about the legal handles, whether you talk about the design models, whether you talk about the generative AI models. It's impacting in all the industry. So it's not limited to coding. You have to see the broader perspective of the impact which AI is creating. So the question is how you can be more relevant in the industry despite the AI impact which is already happening and definitely recently I have heard the founder of NMedia and OpenAI they are focusing towards the AGI means the advanced intelligence so when the AI will reach that level definitely we are not able to compete with the AGI because that's that's beyond our human capability it's advanced so and that definitely is going to create a huge disruption so all the claims which are made by the end media and open ai elon Musk, they're working on the agi so if we have the agi there is no human comparison because our human intelligence and the agi there is a vast difference so in that you cannot able to compete you have to simply use the agi to be better in your work so I never look AI as my competitive. I use AI in my regular work right now. I have seen the changes happening in the past five years, the way we coding like in 2016, 17, 18, 19, and the way we are doing after these chat models are invented and the way these AI models are removing the repetitive work from my workspace. For example, that if I'm working on an application and I have to build a slider or I have to build a basic code structure, I have to code it from scratch where I have to give most of my time. If I want to hire someone to perform the same layout design or same structure building, I have to pay extra money. But the same thing I can do with the AI and I can generate the layout, I can generate the basic code structure and I can build on top of that. So still, when I look at this AI model, these AI models are not capable enough to build a full-fledged functional application. If you talk about payment gateways, like look at the Stripe, how big it is. There is a lot of things that are happening. If you talk about YouTube, if you talk about Google search, these are the models they are utilizing it. But still, when it's come to scalability, you need human intervention. You cannot say that this AI model can build everything from scratch to the scalability. Maybe in future, after 10 years or after five years, it can. There's always possibility. But so right now, it's not that capable to replace humans completely for building that. Still, we need human intervention for scalability, for better architecture, for better design. It's help, definitely, but still we need. Now comes to the layoff. You have to understand that why these layoffs are happening and in which label these layoffs are happening. That's very important because there is always hierarchy in an organization. Some works are repetitive, some works are creative, some works in advance and research. So you have to understand in which label these layoffs are happening. You will always find that those layoffs are happening where the repetitive work come place. So the CEO of TCS recently said in the interview that the AI models, the AI chat models can completely replace the call center. And that's going to create a huge disruption in India because Indian 50% workforce go to call center. So there's going to create a huge impact, huge disruption because right now the AI model, the chat models are capable enough to do that. I hope you guys have seen the demo video which recently published by ChatGTP, how it's getting communicated based on your emotion. So if you want to have a funny emotion, lovely emotion or angry emotion, that's all can be generated and it can go, it can communicate with you. So there is going to create a huge impact. So you have to understand that where the layoffs are happening. Customer support is a repetitive task. When you get a call from a customer, you have to provide the same information based on their requirement. So there's no doubt it's going to simply remove. Same thing is happening in the field of development. So if you are doing a work which is very repetitive in nature, not that productive, it's going to be danger for you. It's going to replace you. If you are working in a design team, in a front-end design team where you are just fixing the color and button here and there, then definitely you're going to lose your job. If you look at this big tech company and their hiring process, you will understand one thing that this big company has a lot of cash. So when they hire any employee in the past, they just hire just like that on a regular yearly basis. And later they decide that where they're going to put them into the work. So an employee joined the company, their role is not defined. They're just giving them in a small team and they're doing the simple tasks. 
But now the companies are using AI models to perform the same thing and providing a AI assistant to the developer. Because if you are running a company, you don't need big team. So running a big company doesn't require a lot of employees. Like you have three to four good guys who know their work, they can be able to build a big company. The other teams comes into the picture when it's come to marketing, support, all of that. So one thing you can conclude that if you really want to be relevant in the field of development in 2024 or beyond, then you have to be very good in what you are doing because microservice is going to play a huge role in the field of development. So if you are good in smart contract, you can build a smart contract secure, you know everything about the smart contract development, you will be appreciated. If you know about the front end, you are very good in front end, you will be appreciated. If you go about the security and the blockchain development or a front end development or a back end development, if you are good in your tasks, then you will be appreciated. The most of the layoffs are happening because those who have got hired, they don't have enough skills. And still I can see a lot of developers come up to me and they say that I am a blockchain developer. I know front end, I know back end, but they don't have the skills. They don't have the skill. I have to be brutal and I have to be clearly open. They don't have that kind of a skills. They build a simple application and they thought that they're going to build, work on the bigger project. That's not going to be happen because now the AI model is going to do the smaller tasks. Earlier we used to hire an intern, we used to hire an uh, employee for working the basic tasks. But now, now the entire scenario is changed. If you are good, then definitely you will get the position and you have to do the entire work. So you have to be very good in your work, no matter what segment you pick. Every field is still relevant. I can see personally if AI will disrupt and create end to end product. And we are not here making this video, not here getting our livelihood from the work, the skills we have learned in the past couple of years. So still don't need to worry about it. If you want to become a blockchain developer, you have to be very good. You have to know about blockchain development, every single thing, NFT, DeFi, every single thing you have to know. Blockchain development is a very vast topic. You have to focus on your skill. As long as you focus on your skills, it will help you. Right now, there is a lot of demand for the developer, but the problem is those developers don't have the skills. That's the main problem. Those developers don't have the skills and because of that, they're not getting job and internship. If you are good in your work, definitely you will get an internship and job because right now there is a lot of opening in the blockchain development in the US market. Even the, U the Indian market is also getting more, attracting more new talent, but they're not getting the talent to work on the project, to build a, build a application which can facilitate the decentralized financial system. There's a lot of things need to be done. And this blockchain technology is still in very early stage. We don't know anything about this technology. We know simple building, simple application, but we don't understand the potential of this blockchain technology, which can create a huge disruption in the market. Trust me, we only know five to 10% about blockchain technology, but still 90% is hidden. We don't know about it. So don't be confused. Blockchain is a great opportunity right now. And if you want to focus on blockchain development, I would suggest you to focus on full stack blockchain development. In that way, what will happen? You will be higher in chance for getting job and industry. Most of the hirings are happening in the startup field because they have the latest funding and they need someone who can build end to end product. So if you focus on smart contract, definitely you can. There's no problem in that. But be specific to the smart contract research, smart contract auditing. So when you will work as a smart contract auditor, that's required a lot of experience. So it would be better for you to start focusing on a full stack blockchain development, learn about Solidity, learn about the relevant technology. Generally, I would suggest you to focus JavaScript because JavaScript is a really powerful language and you can utilize in all type of application, all type of technology, whether you want to build a web two application or web three application, you can develop that. So you have to be relevant. You have to work hard on your skills. You have to know what you are doing. You have to know that you have to build project. Most of you don't have any project. What are you going to expect from the employer? Those who are going to take the interview, those who are going to hire you. You don't have good project to show. Build at least four to five project. If you build five project, you, it will clear your entire concept that how you have built a smart contract, how you are integrating the smart contract. Build four different, five different projects. Like we have a lot of project on our channel, NFT, DeFi, voting, chat application, all of this focus on different business model. So build this kind of application. When you are good in your work, no one is going to take your job. I see AI as my assistants. Earlier, I have to hire other people to do the basic work. Now I can do with the AI. It's giving me more power, more control on my work. So it's going to make you more relevant. It's going to eliminate the repetitive work which you have to do over and over again, like a basic things. Earlier, I have to fix any bug. I have to do the auditing. I have to do the research here and there, but now I just give the code to my AI and tell them to do the couple of checks. It does the work very easily. It saves time for me. So just forget about it. That's going to replace you. You have to be good in your work. So if you are an ordinary developer, then definitely it's going to replace you. 
you have to be very good in your work if you are good no one's going to replace you and there's a lot of job opportunity we have right now if you are good enough you can easily be able to grab the job in the blockchain development so right now i can see a lot of job openings in the web3 space web2 is getting little down at the moment because this layoffs are happening and this layoffs are generally happening in the basic level because everybody focusing on the web dev front end back end and they are doing the basic work for getting into the company so those who are losing the job i would suggest you to focus on blockchain learn about it understand it and it is the right time to build something from your own like as i told you that blockchain is a fairly new technology we haven't got the 90% we only have the 10% so you can build some sort of decentralized financial system just try to understand and observe the current product view which you use in your day to day life and how you can take that in a decentralized space so the market is really huge i can i can give you 10 to 20 business model which you can develop on the on the blockchain which is going to facilitate the entire system so smoothly right now we have a lot of complication when we go to the centralized system but we can entirely facilitate the entire system in decentralized space let me give the example of a pharma industry like we can totally automate through the blockchain which i'm going to cover in different video so don't need to be very you have to be very good you have to know what you are doing how you are learning but ultimately you have to make the decision if you're going to be ordinary no matter in which field you go you will be replaceable you can see the lot of layoffs are happening in every single field what about the photographers what about the graphic designer what about the call supporters like they're all losing their job what about the content writer they're still losing their job so it's not limited to the development it's happening in every single industry so you have to be very good if you want to perform the ordinary work why anybody would take you why would anybody going to give you money for performing the ordinary work you have to be exceptional once you be exceptional definitely you will be you will be appreciated and you will have a lot of opportunity trust me you will have a lot of opportunity so that's the only thing for my end i hope it's clear your doubt and now you have the complete road map for what exactly you have to do what you have to pick i would suggest you to check the road map which i have published two days ago and that i have explained that what exactly you have to learn to become a blockchain developer and it's a right time to become a blockchain developer okay ultimately it's right time but ultimately you have to make the decision so that's the only thing from my end have a wonderful day bye, -bye.